All right, guys, I got 10 tips for you today on how you can make money as a teenager and not necessarily going the retail route or working a normal job. Maybe you're too young or maybe you just don't want to. So got 10 tips for you today, starting with the least difficult and ending with the most difficult. So let's get into it. So babysitting is an amazing way to make money as a teenager, and it's also pretty easy. Uh, whether you're a boy or a girl, it doesn't really matter. Most likely you know a lot of families with younger kids that are always looking for babysitters to hire. So the biggest obstacle in going into this business is just getting your name out there. There's not a lot of resources that you need to invest to start this, there's not a lot of time, it's just marketing. Efficiently getting your name out there is what's gonna set you apart from the other people in this business. So car washes are a really great way to make money as a teenager, and the thing that I love about this business model is you essentially make your customers come to you without having to do a lot of work, if you set it up correctly. Um, so what I suggest doing is setting it up in front of your house, you know, maybe on your street or cul-de-sac or whatever, and flag your neighbors as they come by. And offer a low cost, you know, fair price, and when you combine that low cost with the convenience factor of just being on your street, you'll be, be able to bring in a lot of customers. So artwork is a really great way to make money as a teenager if you are skilled in it. Um, if you are skilled in it, it's great to, you know, do some painting, drawing, customized artwork on like shoes and stuff like that for people. It's a great way to show your friends what you can do. Do something that you enjoy and make a little money on the side. So selling snacks at sports games is a really great way to make money. Um, it's a little more complicated though, but this is something that I did as a kid. So what I would do is I would go to the supermarket with my parents, Costco in particular, and so I'd buy a bunch of snacks in bulk for a low price. So I bought like chips, soda, Gatorade, gum, sunflower seeds, whatever. Um, and I agreed to pay my parents back with the revenue I made from this business. So what I would do is I put all the snacks in a little cooler and I would go to this sports complex near my house in the summertime and there'd be like four or five baseball fields and like three or four football fields and so there's like a ton of different games going on and obviously there's lots of parents out there, it's a hot day and so I'd go from person to person and just you know use salesmanship skills and just sell them on the products I had and one thing that I did was offer them at a lower price than little snack mart that was in the complex and so I made up with the amount of stuff I sold so in volume but, um, so that's a little more complicated, but the payoff was pretty good. I was paying, I think I was making like 100 bucks a week, which is pretty good for a teenager. So landscaping is an amazing way to make money. Um, it has a really good payoff and it's really scalable, but it has a pretty high barrier to entry, meaning there's a lot of big professional companies that do this and they've been doing it for a lot of people for a long time. So it's hard to break into this business, but if you start on a small scale and with just a few of your friends, just do it for your neighbors, um, you can start to slowly expand and just keep putting your name out there, you know, put flyers on people's doors and make business cards and just start putting your name out there. You'll start to get more recognized and business will slowly start to pick up. So that's a great way to make money, but just requires a little bit more planning. Tutoring. Tutoring is an amazing way to make money if you are so gifted in a particular area of academics. Um, I was not personally, but if you are, don't let that talent go to waste. There's always people who are struggling with the subject, so all you have to do is find them and sell yourself. Say, I can help you get this grade at this price in this amount of time. And as you do this with more and more people, they'll start telling their friends as they succeed, and word of mouth is the best way to market yourself, and it's absolutely free. So tutoring is awesome if you are so inclined. So online selling is great and I guarantee that most of you can do this because you probably have something sitting in your closet right now that's taking up space. So throw it online, throw it on Craigslist or eBay, make some quick cash. Uh, but one piggyback on that idea is consistent online selling. So this kind of has to do more with like the shoe and fashion industry. So if you're really into shoes, you're really into fashion, um, some of the more elite brands will have launches. So they'll launch certain products at certain times of the year and they'll only sell a certain amount of units. So if you buy three, four, five of those units and then resell them after they become unavailable, you can sell them for a pretty good profit. Um, but that takes a little bit more know-how in the industry, but if you're passionate about that, it's a great way to make some extra profit. So graphic design is pretty great. Um, it has a relatively low startup cost. You pretty much just have to pay for the software. But if you're skilled in graphic design, it's awesome because you can get a lot of experience and build up your resume, as well as making some good money and doing some pretty cool stuff for your friends, family, school, whatever. So photography and videography services are a really fun way to make money as a teenager. 
Um, these do have a pretty high startup cost though. If you are going to go for high quality professional grade camera equipment, it's pretty expensive. Um, and it does require a decent amount of expertise and experience. So my advice is to start young, start early, and you know develop a good portfolio, kind of figure out what you're doing, find a niche, and uh, you know start offering those services later. One thing that I did was I uh, offered senior pictures for a lot of my friends in high school. Um, I offered it at a lower price because a lot of professionals charge really, really high prices for senior pictures. Um, so that's a really good small scale way to start with it. And then you can find, of your, find your area of interest in photography and videography after that. So the last one is stock investments. And this is probably the most difficult and has the most amount of risk. And you're probably thinking like, I'm just a teenager. I don't know how the financial markets work. I don't, I don't know how stocks work. If I invest, I'm probably gonna lose all my money, which is a good point. Um, but someone's already thought of that. And they've made programs and websites that allow you to use fake money but invest in real markets so you can get some good experience, build a fake little portfolio up, and you know, start making some fake money. And once you're at that point where you feel like you kind of know what you're doing, you can use real money. And it has a pretty good payout if you know what you're doing. Um, but the reason why I love this so much is it makes you pay attention to current events. And it makes you pay attention to these companies that you're following. So you see their success, and you see their failures, and you learn these things at a young age, so it puts you at a huge advantage compared to your friends. Um, so do this if you really want to invest in your future career and get some really good knowledge at a young age. Um, I highly recommend it. But that is the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.